Well, in case you guys missed it, it's official. Black Panther Wakanda Forever got an F- minus from cinema score from people leaving theaters. A first ever, and definitely... Oh wait, it's not real. Then why did 38,000 people share it? Because people are dumb, that's why. That's literally it. So I was sent this by a couple of people saying, hey, how come you haven't made a cinema score video yet? And I was like, well, I'm going to get to that, you know, one thing at a time. So let's talk about it. So here's the official score. So this comes, of course, from cinema score who pulls people when they're exiting the film and they can verify that they actually saw the film. So they gave the film an A. Audiences generally love the film. Again, yeah, that makes sense, right? So why exactly did 38,000 people across multiple fan pages run by people share that the film got an F minus and nobody decided to fact check it and people were in the comments celebrating going, ah, oh, it's because it's woke and it's because of this and it's because of that and it deserves an F minus. Well, it's because people are dumb and they're not going to fact check these pages who literally built up their entire personality on, hey, let's lie. Let's confirm that the Duffer brothers, or whoever the, I think that's the brothers from the Stranger Things, that they're directing Secret Wars. Hey, let's confirm that Tobey Maguire is back in the Kang Dynasty. They just make up things and put them up daily. Nobody fact checks them. And they get thousands, sometimes tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of shares. That's just what happens. People are too stupid. People don't call them out. And people celebrate unknowingly because they're dumb. And then you have pages whose entire narrative is, hey, DC does good, Marvel always bad. It's in shambles. So they'll, of course, share stuff like this. And what, is a blind fanboy going to fact check it? No, they're going to share and go, see, this is proof. Audiences. Again, that's it. A cinema score of A is generally in line with most MCU films these days. So, yeah, it's good, right? It's a good score. There's nothing here. People genuinely love the film. We're seeing a lot of great feedback in regards to many elements of it. Yeah, it's also getting some flack. Again, I have quite a few problems with the film. One specifically involving a character that if you remove them and the entire subplot, it would make no difference at all. Literally zero. I don't know why the character is in the movie after that one scene, but they are. And it's clearly to set up other things in the MCU, which again can always be a complaint, but as a whole... It is what it is, and um, yeah, the film is generally well-received. Now, some people will wonder, why didn't I talk about the cinema score of Thor, Love, and Thunder and Black Adam? I did. The video, um, yeah, it didn't pass the YouTube standard because of my language I used in it, so that went to members exclusively. But trust me, I very much get into the cinema score on both of those, and it's just a uh, giant rant and ramble of me yelling. So yeah, um, there you go. There you go. Cinema score. But we all know it's all about the Rotten Tomato score. I can hear you yelling. I can hear you yelling about it. And yes, it's correct. It's all about the totally you can't manipulate score by audience reviews on Rotten Tomatoes.